final preparations are underway for community events that will allow East Texans and visitors to witness this phenomenon together. Fox 51's Ashley Anderson will be among the crowds in Athens next Monday. And she spoke with officials today and is here with a preview of what people can expect. Ashlyn. Tyler, Katie, the newly remodeled Kane Center will be the hub for all things Eclipse in Athens. They also tell me it will be one of the best spots to view the Eclipse in East Texas. The YMCA in Athens is prepared and ready for Eclipse watchers to gather at their facility that sits on 85 acres of land on Palestine Street. We have a huge green space outside the Kane Park. We have two large parking lots in the front and rear of the facility. Food will be available for purchase, and if you don't have your Eclipse eyewear, glasses will be on sale. Come early and uh, come hungry. we got some nice fresh food that day that will be available for purchase through Treehouse. The Athens YMCA is letting people watch the Eclipse outside, inside their facility, and even poolside. The Kane Center has always been a hub of this community, and we wanted to ensure that during uh, something that will be once in our lifetime, that folks could come here for free and experience it together. People are traveling near and far to join in on the fun. The YMCA's executive director urges people to show up early and find your spot. I would bring a couple of those collapsible lawn chairs and that way you have a nice place to sit. You can sit uh, on our decks, in our parking lot, and also in all the nice green spaces surrounding the facilities. If the weather is bad outside, there is plenty of space to sit inside. There are a couple covered areas where you can step outside and not get rained on. If the sky is visible, you'll be able to see it from inside the facility and also outside the facility. Excited to put on this event for the community because rain or shine, it will be a time to remember. And all of the activities at the center will start at 11 o'clock in the morning and will go until 2 o'clock on Monday. In studio, Ashlyn Anderson, Fox 51 News.